Hi, sorry, this is just part two. I got cut off on the last message. So I was saying about on the last time that what we're thinking about is that we're not in union yet and when is it going to happen and and all of those things around still thinking that we're in we're not together, right? But that's that's the whole point. You are together by the soul, which is what all of the letters recently, just over this last week that I've been guided to do, really clearly show that right in every single one it's like please 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 go into your heart because that's where I am and this is this reflects it completely because again the key thing to know for us is about the connection is right there this is a heart healing connection this is something that is meant to be because it's meant to be because it's driven by spirit right it's driven by spirit and the spirit will create the change if you look at that as well, both of these are five, and the fives are either side of 11, right? Because this is, if you think of it as in you are an earth angel, right? Brought down to help heal the planet in love, right? And you do that by living from your heart, literally. You know, that you, you know, that in the simplest form, living from your heart and living by love is what you're here to do. Right. And so when you do that, that is when the change comes in your life. And that's when you can bring in this connection. Right. So that's what this is saying. This is saying, you know, basically, there's no reason to go into your head because the head puts you in the shadow. Right. The union, when you go into your head, this is exactly what this is saying. When the, when you go into your head, you're stepping outside of the union. When you go into your heart, you know that you're here to do a job. You know you're here to raise the planet in love and light. You know you're here for this relationship to heal each other's hearts, right? And so um, what you're wanting is this sense of, I mean, again, I couldn't make it up, right? You're wanting the new beginnings because you're wanting this sense of unease inside, around, and the unease comes always from thinking around time, okay? Every single time, in every single one, they come back, but I was hoping that, well, not every single one, but a lot of them say, but I was hoping that you were going to be able to tell me when, you know? And so that is, that is why this is, again, very clear guidance, is to step into your heart, right? As soon as you start thinking around timing, around when, around why hasn't it happened yet, and all of those things, that is when you create the storminess inside, because that is not trusting, right? That's when you go into doubt and fear around the divine plan. But the guidance for us is very clear. It's about there is a divine plan. There is a divine timing around all of these things, right? So love, the full fulfillment of desire and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart. In perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Because love is always right on time. And so this is about knowing, right? So this is really clear guidance here and again reflects totally completely 100 percent i've been seeing in the letters is that you know even though there is all this sense of um, love and you're journeying back to each other's soul and you know they're so amazing and so romantic and so yeah wonderful these letters it still is that question afterwards oh but i was hoping that you're going to tell me when it was going to happen right <laughs> Which again is why you have to move out of that space because there is a bigger plan, right? Because what is at the top top of the union and it is the golden path guidance is the flame of inspiration, but it is the man holding a heart, right? So the twin flame energy and look, the twin flame energy has got two hearts, the mirror heart on his leg, right? You're the mirror of him. You mirror each other's hearts. And so that's why... This whole, you know, the whole reading, and if you look at the union energies, crowning it is the man holding a heart. At the centre of it is the doorway to spirit being open to create the change in your life. 
and being supported by, you know, the powers of the universe, right, to create these soul connections. Because to move out of, the, I always think as well when I see this card, it always reminds me of Elsa from Frozen. I say it all the time, but, you know, she wasn't, it wasn't she didn't love. She was afraid that she was going to hurt the people, right? And that, again, is what I'm seeing is because they don't want to, they, they, you know, divine counterparts want to feel that they can love and be in the right place to give you love and not want to hurt you, right? That's... And so this is reflecting it perfectly again. Um, the grounding energy is all about the second chakra, which is your sacral chakra, which is wanting to have intimacy, which is wanting to have intimate, romantic, gorgeous relationships, right? It's also number nine. <laughs> so again, this is like nine and nine, the completion of things, the start of new cycles, right? So it's about wanting to have intimacy in relationships wanting to be truly intimate and wanting to be have vulnerability and wanting to literally wear the heart on the sleeve right so what is at the heart of it and it is the the guidance of the union is that this is the milk and the honey and it is also number six which is the love path so again i mean just gorgeous gorgeous guidance as ever so sensuality connection and passionate romance between lovers sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now your heart's calling will be answered let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you'll be nourished with the honey of abundance well there you go and what's so interesting what again is so funny is somebody's letter they had um that he felt her rippling through him like honey or something so again it just it just is really amusing that now this is coming up in the center the other thing is um this message around abundance again you know this is about knowing that actually when you do really release everything to the universe and trust that you're being supported and the twin flame energy is right at the heart of you that is when you can grip bring in your abundance because again the grounding energy is number six right and it is the woman holding a coin so this is again symbolizing not only that you hold the coin of truth because you're the one who knows but you also know that you can use the twin flame energy to create that abundance right so this is right at the heart of it if you look at that because right at the heart of this, you have, you know, if I just bring this in, right? So at the heart of the matter, we had all doorways will lead to light because you're on your pathway home and it's the love path. Again, six, you're the one that's holding the coin of truth. Again, six is the union energy, which is, you know, basically that the rainbow at the end of the rainbow is a pot of gold, right? And what, what do you need in order for that to happen is you know, in order to create the change to bring in these these connections, then the universe is going to make you abundant, you know, in every way, you know, in all ways in order to support these unions because they are needed, right? Again, they're needed to support um, the universe and you'll be supported because in effect, the universe wants to pay you, right? <laughs> in, a se in essence, you sign up to do a job on the behalf of the universe to heal the planet and therefore, the universe wants to give you your abundance to say, yeah, good job, got job done kind of thing. So um, the golden path guidance is the flame of inspiration, um, which again, you can't make up, right? So the flame of inspiration is this. Logic will get you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. Your imagination is fertile at present and you soon feel inspired to create. As you tap into the infinite power of creativity, you hold within you new possibilities unfold. Keep an open heart and mind and be open to new ideas. Think outside the box, but don't take things too seriously. Make this a time of fun and exploration. Be in touch with your inner child, the true artist within you. An idea will come to you that will lead to an abundant and fulfilling future. Try to, try to relax over the coming days. The more you relax, the easier it will be. Spend some time in nature and feel her fertile and healing energies. This can be a time of exploration and romance, an enchanted and magical time. And the affirmations are, I hold infinite creative power. I am inspired by life. I keep an open mind and heart. I am open to new ideas. 
I am in touch with my inner artist. So there you go. So basically it is all about knowing that actually it's all about trusting in divine timing because the next, look at that, the next card was trust, right? And for us, it's about knowing that, okay, don't be in the head. When you're in the head, you think of your son. When it goes into your head, it, the, the, the natural thing is, is to ask the question, but when, but when, but when? But as soon as you do that and you go into the mind, this is exactly what this card's showing, is that you're already in the union, right? So don't think when, think I am, I am together, right? I am in the heart of me. I know that we are already together. And then it's just a sense of knowing that actually there's a bigger plan at play and there is a bigger divine clock that's sorting all of this out. And you become part of that, right? You become part of the process. So trust, basically. Trust, trust, trust. Because it is all about living the best and most abundant life you can. All right. If you want to come to me for an energy reading like this or a um, Wisdom of the Oracle, I do a Your Story with these. Or a healing where I see everything like a film and I give you a write-up of everything that I see. Um, or, of course, if you want a love letter from your divine counterpart, then that is only $10. But all of the details are in the link. And, um, yeah, I just want to help as many people as I can on this journey because I know that it is a tricky one. But as soon as you get connection from your divine counterpart, then it makes things so much easier. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. And remember, it's all about tick-tock the divine clock. All right. Take care. Bye.